My name is Rian Simmons, and this is my story. I remember looking forward to my 25th birthday. I was a teacher, and I was looking forward to having a booming medical career. But on my 25th birthday, I remember going to school and not feeling well. I got fever, I had a headache, I was disoriented. I really couldn't remember where I was for a couple of seconds. I looked around wondering what's happening. By the time it was time to go home and classes were over, I felt weak, the fever was hot, and I was worried because this is my 25th birthday and I hadn't done anything more than be sick for a day. The fever and stuff happened for a couple of months until eventually I was diagnosed with a brain disease known as benign intracranial hypertension where my brain produces too much fluid and at that point also I was going blind and I needed emergency attention. I remember having my first surgery. It was a trial surgery. They told me that I need to get something called a shunt, which will run from my spine to my abdomen. And they said they had to do a test surgery first, so I would have the shunt running on the outside. Soon, a day or two after the surgery, it got infected and I got meningitis. I remember calling out to the nurse, getting up in the night and calling out to the nurse, telling her that I had a serious headache. And she just came. She was upset that I called her. She gave me two Panadol and told me to go to sleep. By the time the doctor arrived, I couldn't move my neck. I couldn't move most of my body. I was in and out of consciousness. And at that moment, I don't quite remember what happened, but I remember talking to God, telling him I knew that if he did not help me, I would die. I remember praying and asking for his help and I felt him there. I felt like I saw him there with me that day. Oh my gosh, it has so much to say. I lose it. <sighs> Through the time, that I spent in hospital, there's nothing more than I can say that I realized that God is real. I had a relationship with him then, but we got closer through my illness. The disease is incurable, and I still live with awful headaches and pain, but how I was then to how I am now, is a miracle. They told me that I would have to live with nerve damage from the amount of surgeries that I did for the rest of my life. But I can sit here today and say that I don't feel that pain anymore. And that's the power of prayer. That's the power of knowing God and having a personal relationship with God. He loves you and he cares for you. And just what he did for me, he can do all that and more for you. I didn't cry. Success! <laughs>